becomes classic. Yo, the chosen O N E. Put poetry in motion. Rap leave you back, make your match when my trap open. Fracture your cap broken. Half the impact closing. Laps. Hold that. This prolapse in your system flows that. You are not different from anybody else. You accept yourself and you take everybody else as a human being. That's right. Maria, yes. this one's for you. <clears throat> what did your parents say when you dated Moses? Was there any problems? No. There's my no problem. My parents are uh, very happy for me to date a nice person and it doesn't matter the colour. But I know that they are in an exception in the sense that a lot of parents of white girls would uh, would find it difficult to accept, especially at the beginning. Um, so I, I consider myself lucky. But things are changing slowly, so I think it will be more and more normal. And also in London, it's quite normal to have couples um, from different backgrounds and different races. That's right. So is Moses Mr. Wright? Hopefully, yes. Okay. Not Mr. Wright now. <laughs> <laughs> Dolly. Hello. So you said you've never dated a black guy before? No. Why is that? There isn't really a specific reason, just naturally haven't come across anyone I particularly wanted to be with. Um, but I haven't had that many boyfriends, so you never know. Okay. What do you have to say to black girls that say white girls are stealing their men? Maybe they're right, and I'm sorry about that. It was not my intention. Okay. <laughs> Moses, what do you have to say to brothers who say that? Have you ever dated a black girl before? Yes. And obviously you've dated a white girl before. Is there any differences between the two? I just look at them as human beings. Uh, each person has got his own personality and of... That's it. So you're just saying it's human beings? Yes. So what would you say to these black girls who are saying that these brothers are dating white girls because they find white girls easier to go out with. What would, you, what would your message uh, be? I think it's a misconception. Actually, uh, if you look at black men, everything we, we have or we get, we, we work twice as hard to get. So I guess maybe we, we, we don't mind pushing the boundaries and we are ready. Maybe we integrate even better. So we don't see things in black and white. We just see it as it is. Right. There's no good, There's no man, good left. man left. Yeah. Actually, black girls are, uh, can be a little bit more demanding and, well, talking for my... Now, we're, now we're touching on it. <laughs> I, I think we, 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 it's even worse now with a, a black man as a president in America. We, we seem to be pushed to the limit. The expectations are too high. And I think it, most black people I've known, especially men, they find it's much easier to deal with a, a, a white person because most of the time they don't have much, much high expectations from us as compared to our sisters. And is that why you feel a lot of the footballers then say go out with a lot of white girls because they find black girls more, have got more attitude, so to speak? I think uh, there's an identity crisis in most of my people, really. Um, it's like, okay, I made it now, okay, I got them dollars, you know. I, I, I don't belong to the ghetto anymore, I'm different. I'm not a kind of black man anymore, therefore I deserve better. I'm not going to go out with the ghetto sister, so I'm going to get myself some cute little asshole across the front, you know? Is that what you think the common but theme is? I'm, I'm referring to so-called uh, high-class, have made it black man. came to London, you were saying you had sex with your first black guy? Not in London, but I have had sex with a black guy and... Um, was there a difference or...? There was... I found it quite different. I found that his body was different and his, his hair was different and it was all a bit of a sort of novelty fascination, definitely. And that was one of the reasons why we were attracted to each other, both of us. He'd never been with a white woman, I'd never been with a black guy. And as much as you might not want to discuss the race thing, it's a factor right. that you know in your attraction. And yeah, it was... You know, you hear all these stories that you know, black guys are massive and all the rest of it. And, and some black men obviously are massive and some aren't massive. And it was, yeah, hold on, hold 
Sorry, hold on. Why, why would you say summer massive and some arts are massive? So that wasn't your first. That was your first love, but it wasn't your last. Yeah, I've been. I've been with a couple of sort of black guys, and, and and you know, I, you can't, there's no there's no rule of thumb. It's different apparently. And is that is it true what they say about um, performance and loving and that kind of and, thing? And you know, uh, once you go black, never go back. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it depends on who, who you attract. <laughs> okay, so that, that doesn't hold water in your book then? No, not at all. Do you girls like bad boys or good guys? I like someone like who can boys. tell me to like, tell me the deal, but I don't try and back me up. You know? Well, that's what bad boys do, right? I like myself a good boy. Yeah. Someone that's headstrong, knows what he's doing. What ambition. Yeah. Knows where he wants to be in five years. Have you ever dated another girl's boyfriend, even though you know she's, he's got a girl? No, no, I told him like that to me. Okay, so you wouldn't, you wouldn't do that? No. What would you say to some black guys who say that black girls have attitude and they're materialistic? They're materialistic. It's not all black girls. They're just stereotyping them. Attitude as in most of us are strong-minded. Most of us know what we're talking about. Like, we don't really take certain things that other girls would, do you know what I mean? It's not about the attitude part of things, I don't think. So would you say that white girls are more easier? That's why black I'm guys... I'm not saying that. Easier. All girls could be easy. Yeah. Black girls could be easy. China girl, white, scary, yellow right? girl, anything. So you think it's a stereotype? Yeah. So why do you think then so many black guys move over to white girls? If, that, if it's all the same? I don't know, you know. As you, as someone else says, or as some boys say, there some of them are easy. I'm not, I'm not saying they're easy. Okay, because I've, I've heard that. Some of them. Yeah, I've heard that a lot. I've, I hear it all the time. Yeah, man, they just do the things. It's, they yeah. do as they're told. Like it's not parent relationship. That's a good question. <laughs> this is not parenting relationship. This is a. What, how, a, a strong friendship. Yeah. How do you feel when you see most of the footballers dating white, white girls? girls? I, I'm just like, oh my god, black <laughs> I, I swear down, I seriously haven't seen footballers with black girls. Okay, there is a few. There is a few. I haven't seen any <laughs> Alexander Song from Arsenal. Right. He goes yeah. out with a black girl, that's and him. I think that's the only no, one. Him. I, yeah, that's him. the only guy I can. No, catch. him because they're all all them clubs in London that they go to only let certain white girls in who's yeah. dressed to the tee with their long hair and their white and teeth. Yeah. So that's you think it. it's environment then? Yeah, definitely. It's all about image, isn't it? All about image. Everything's about image. So how does that how does that make you feel as a black woman when you don't see them or you you're not on their arms? Jermaine Defoe, you know all of them. It's not even that. It's not even just because it's a footballer. Like, it's just. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. But like, he could, he, in general, he doesn't have to be a footballer. Like it's just yeah. you should be more open-minded. Open just yes. don't judge a book by its cover. Then just get to know him first, and yeah, just get to know them. Do you actually think there's a issue? Yeah, if certain boys are talking the way they're talking about they wouldn't date a black girl, they got nothing attitude, issue. and they always with the white girls or the mixed race girls. And but it's funny though, right? Is, don't you think it's funny that black? So what would you say to these young black males who say, as my man just said, they have got black girls that have got attitude and why do black girls, when you say morning to them, um, respond to you like that? Well, like morning. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, say, I don't Depends know. On, yeah, I'm right. not like that. If someone says hi, I'm saying hi, you're right. Good day, good evening, good but, afternoon. Yeah, but then it's the response of black boys as well. So and the, and the way they nice, approach you, and if someone's give approaching out your number, you yeah. in a bad way, then you shouldn't even deserve the time of day then if you're going to approach me on. Okay, because I was interviewing some girls at Westfield yesterday, mm -hmm. and two black girls in front of me, I'm like, how you doing, hello? And she just looked at me like, don't talk to me. So I nod her again, and she's like, oh, I don't want to be on camera. I'm like, well, just say that. But just the initial reaction, yeah. it's almost like, it's like I can't talk to them. So black guys are saying, well, why do I need to go through that if I don't go through that with a white girl? Yeah. What would you say to that? I mean, if they're saying they're that black women... They're narrowing who they go out with then. Yeah. They are, that's their they're choice. Being narrow -minded. What do you mean? So? They're being narrow-minded if they don't want to approach a black girl or, or mixed race or anything. But if they're getting knocked back so much, yeah. eventually, if you say hello they're to a white try girl... they something else. Yeah. yeah. This is, yeah this I is... know, but I don't know how to put it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not in their heads. I don't know how they think. Do you know what I mean? What do you think we can do to bridge that gap? What would you say to most black needs, girls who do that? It needs to be a nice vibe. Yeah, Everyone needs just to be nice. Everyone needs to be more laid back, yeah. relaxed, and take a chill pill, not so up their ass and not so. Yeah. Not do, so you, nice. do you have a problem with black guys dating out of their race? No. No. 
with, do you think it's all right? It's fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay. My question to you is, do you see Jewish people doing that? Do you see Indian people doing that? Because a couple of years ago, do you remember the case where this black guy was dating this Muslim girl? And her father find out and she, he killed her daughter? Yeah. That was because she was mixing from another from race. Outside her race. Why? Some people are still strict like that. I don't, yeah. I don't know if that's their religion, but I still think it's quite bad. If that's the, you're limiting who you can talk to and who you can associate with, like, for what? At the end of the day. As young black girls walking down the street, do you find a lot of white guys and Arabic guys approach you more so today than anything else? Today, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie, today. Because <laughs> you have thoughts of switching earlier, right? Definitely. Would you? Definitely, yeah. Okay. Definitely, not just black guys, I'm not just into black guys. Have you had a, a, a good relationship before? Yeah. Okay. And what, are you in a relationship now? No, not the moment. Okay, what, what happened in your relationship? Oh, no. Was you the, oh, was you the <laughs> dominant one? No, I wasn't. I mean, it, was, it, was, it, it, was, it was level. It was alright. It was a nice relationship. Obviously not that nice because you broke up. But we have our problems and we have our ups and downs. Like everybody else? Yeah. How long was your relationship? Uh, two years. Okay, you seem a bit young to be in a relationship. but You know what I mean? No. You seem like you should be out and enjoying yourself. I, I do as well. Okay, good. What would your word be to those black girls who say that black men are shit? That black men are shit. Are shit and they're no good. What would you say to don't us? Don't expect nothing from a black man. And if that's how you think, don't expect nothing back. I just really. go for the right one. Yeah. Go for the right one. They look all like that. Some of them. Mm -hmm. Okay, you heard my man behind me saying that he thinks that black girls have got attitude. Do you think he's but got any merit? But approach a girl with attitude if she thinks. If well, you approach something with a certain mindset, you're going to expect it. Yeah. You're going to get it. Well, like a lot of the young boys say, if they say, good morning and you're not responding and then they say bitch and then you're responding yeah that's how they're gonna respond right yeah how would you like a guy to 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 approach you nicely good afternoon mm, excuse good me so mad that, you know? but even when you do that you still get attitude I, not, not for me not for i don't me. know what these girls are on or what they're doing yeah like, then it's talk about how they feel and mm. what it's just attitude how come yeah. it's because we know what we're talking about and you, you feel threatened by yeah. it what, what pisses you off mostly about black males? Um, look at me smiling. <laughs> um, I don't know, because you can't say black guys. Yeah, it's a bit of a... I don't like to put people in a category. Yeah. But we are though, right? <laughs> yeah, we are. Sorry. Maybe you don't like to, but we are. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Do you think a, a lot of the media has influence over the younger generation how you see black guy, young black guys today? Yeah. Portrayed completely different to a young yeah. white guy, to a young working class yeah. white guy. Because a, a black guy in a hoodie. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So a black girl said to me yesterday that she thinks that all black males are dodgy. <laughs> I thought to myself. That was a okay, do you think that a guy should be allowed to marry more than one wife? No. <laughs> no. That is, that is, oh no, that's wrong. That's wrong, you should be the one person you love and the one person you want to spend the rest of your life yeah. with. You know, to have that bond, you shouldn't be with, you can't have a bond with yeah. two different girls. What's that? Like, it just doesn't make sense. You can't have a bond. You don't wish. No. You can't have a bond with someone else and then tell, tell me say you love her too, but you love yeah. me as well. No, you love me and not her. And we love each other. It's How about? Them loving them up and, do you know what I'm saying? It's just because you wouldn't like your wife I'm to not be talking to the other best. eight men that were around her exactly. earlier. Well, you know, she'll be seen as a slag and the girl will be seen as a stud, Dallas, right? Yeah, That's yeah. Okay, cool. So most girls are not naturally are not like that. No. Girls are very selective when they pick certain their mates. Girls, yeah, yeah. It's just certain people and, and the way they think. Yeah. That's it, really. So is there any hope of us bridging that gap? Yeah. Definitely, yeah. You think so? Well, actually, I can't say definitely because I don't know, I'm a boy, but I don't know how they would do it. I just, I'm still thinking how they would do it. Like, it just has to just be more open-minded. We want to get to know the girl first, like, yeah. talk to her, that's what she's about, see what she likes doing. You know what I mean? Excellent. Have you got anything else to say? Um, you've never judged a book by his yeah. cover.